Hello and welcome, thank you for joining me. My name's Arcadian, the number one dumpster tier gamer, and we are here again today for some more Starfield Extreme Let's Play. <clears throat> welcome back, I hope everybody's having a wonderful time. Starfield uh, Shattered Earth, or uh, sorry, Shattered Space, is getting ready to drop here in a few days, Monday the 30th. Uh, and we still have lots of prepping that we need to do to be ready for that drop. Uh, so if you guys remember the last video, at the end of the last video, we had, or uh, during the last video, we picked up the Razor Leaf during the Mantis quest line. Uh, and in the last video, I was trying to figure out what we were going to do to upgrade this monster of a Class A ship. Um, I have made my decision on how we're going to do that upgrade, uh, but the majority of that upgrade is actually going to have to go on pause because we are not quite, first of all, we're not quite at the right level. We need to be level 12 to get the most uh, significant upgrade to this ship. Uh, but beyond that, we also need to be able to have enough credits. And we're sitting at 74,000 credits. We are not quite there yet. There's also some quest lines that we need to do to kind of prepare. There is some minor upgrades we will be doing. And right here's now. your new. So here's what we're going to do. Sure, have it. Uh, like I said, these are just going to be some simple minor upgrades. We're not going to do anything crazy just yet. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to drop these two back engines. These things are extremely heavy. Uh, as you can see, based off of the mass, look here, we got 572. Extremely heavy, but, and we don't need them. So if you look, we dropped both of those engines. We still, or we dropped 200 mass, and we still end up with 100 mobility. Uh, so absolutely not necessary. We're dropping those right away. Um, now, what are we going to put in their place? Well, my recommendation for what we decide to put in their place is going to be some structural pieces. Specifically, we want these Nova Wings. These right here. These are very lightweight, uh, but the big thing is is that they have a ton of uh, attachment slots so that we can be able to put some weapons down underneath here. Now, if you want to, you can actually take the engines. So you can go like this. Take those off for a second. Jump these, each of these up one. And then take these down one, put them down here. It's really up to you how you want to do this. It's whatever looks best for you. Um, but I would recommend, at the very least, having two of these on so that when we do get the weapons that we're going to use, we can have better weapon attachments, uh, attachment slots. Uh, also, we are going to take off, uh, or sorry, we're going to change out this grab drive, the R1000 dra grab drive. It's not bad, but we can do better than that. Uh, especially here at level 11, we are able to get a better grab drive uh, with the R2000. This gives us a jump, year, jump light year range of 24. If you want to wait until like level 14, you can get the R3000, which will give us like 27 jump range, um, which is really nice, but I think we're okay with just the, the 24 for now. We don't need to go crazy here. Uh, next up, you can take off this little uh, Deimos thing there. We're actually going to take and put on another structural piece. Uh, and that's going to be the Nova weapon mount right here. Uh, we're going to need those weapon mounts. So we're going to go ahead and attach that there. Uh, and I think it actually kind of looks a little cooler with that there. Now, reactor. This reactor here is a plus 18 reactor. We are not able to get the next uh, reactor to give us a plus 20 until level 20, or sorry, until level 12. Uh, so the plus 18 is just going to have to stick for now. Once we get up to level 12, we'll be able to get the one that gives us plus 20. Um, and then we'll be able to put that in that place there. 
Also, the Deimos armory here is not awful, but I don't recommend running. Like, it, it's it's not necessary. The armory is is it's not bad, but it, it's I think we can get a better um, a better hab in there. And so we are going to go with the. We're going to go with the computer core. Uh, so the reason why you want to go with the computer core is because it adds in... Uh, oh, no, not the computer core. We want the... Where are you at? Uh, control station, right here. Uh, so the reason why you want to go with the control station is because it adds in four crew stations. Now, you can ha or the maximum that you can have at this level, I believe, is three. You need, a, you need certain perks to be able to have more than that. Um, but with this one being the max crew of four, we now, or, uh, yeah, four crew stations. Now we have the ability to have four when we get to that point. Uh, so these little upgrades right here, we're still running hundred percent mobility. We're still running 150 top speed. Uh, our mass is at 380, which is not bad. We're going to leave the weapons alone for now. We're going to do a quest line that is going to give us, uh, the option to buy better weapons. Uh, but we're going to need more credits for that as well. <clears throat> uh, also, if you want to, you can take this uh, helium tank here that's got 140. I believe we can get one that's going to have a little bit more. It's not super necessary. It's completely up to you whether you feel like you need this or not. Uh, that's 100. No, maybe we can't. No, that's 140 is actually the best one we got. So actually, we're just going to go ahead and leave that there. All right. So, with that being done, that gives us everything that we need for now, and... Oh no, I just erased something. What did I erase? Oh, we're good. Alright, everything's nominal. <clears throat> That's the upgrades that we're going to take for now. Uh, if you want to, you can obviously paint your ship. Uh, so let's see here, let's... And we're just going to paint it to the razor leaf colors. There we go. And it's ready for Everything now. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. So, quest lines that we're going to do. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we need to go get Andresia. Uh, the reason why we need to get Andresia is because you are not able to do the Shattered Earth DLC unless you have rescued her from um, the this uh, Barun Zealot said she is facing. So we're going to go do that quest line and then we're also going to go rescue Barret. Once we finish those, then we will do, um, most likely go do, uh, the starting of the, I want to go residential, uh, we will do the starting of the DLC, or not DLC, sorry, the starting of the Vanguard quest line so that we can get the weapons that we're going to be running. So yeah, lots of stuff to do today. Hopefully, we're going to have enough time. I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to all of it today, but we're going to get to a good portion. Uh, before we do anything, though, I want to go over here to Reliant Medical. We want to heal up the bleeding uh, and pick up some uh, med packs and stuff. Then we're going to run over here to Centurion Arsenal and pick up some uh, ammo. To, since we're right here, let's go to Terrier Arsenal first. <coughs> Come in here. Hopefully, we get some 15 by 25 no, shotgun. I'm sure you are. Ready. I'm sure we can. Yep, right here. 34 is all she has. That's fine. Is this 147? We are going through this ammo fairly quickly, so we gotta be we gotta we gotta be cautious. We gotta be a little bit more cautious. <clears throat> we need to focus the breach on early, like uh, close-up battles, and then 
switch to other weapons for the long distance. Uh, specifically, I think this Frenzy Modified Advanced Maelstrom is going to be very nice and very helpful. <coughs> So in here we talk to this guy. Here in New Atlantis, count on. Welcome to our... How can I, I help? I need help, Doc. Oh my. Pay five. Uh, pay seven fifty. Clear Let's it all. Get these wounds closed. Just relax. Good as new. All right, and then I can oh, use some come medical to supplies. Uh, he's got a few different things, but there's a few things that we're going to want to focus. So the first thing that we're going to focus is the antibiotics. <clears throat> then we're going to grab some bandages. We can make some bandages as well, so we don't necessarily need the bandages, but it's all right. Uh, and then the med packs we absolutely need. Um, it's 5,000 credits, sure. Let's do it. Okay. You remain in good health. So that gets us some healthy stuff. That gets us the upgrades to the ship for right now. Let's go and knock out some work with Andresia. Um, one thing that I do want before we manage to do the Vanguard, the beginning of the Vanguard quest line, I want to get our piloting skill, or I want to get this up to the 5 of 5 so that I can put a point in it to get uh, piloting level 2. Because when we go to do the pilot exam, we're going to have to do a flight simulator test. Uh, and all the enemies that we defeat during that flight simulator test do count towards uh, this piloting skill upgrade however if you do the piloting skill and let's say you're in there and then you kill the two enemies to get this up to five out of five you cannot upgrade this until you leave the pilot simulating test uh, so I want to wait to do that until after we get that um, that upgraded so that we are not wasting points anywhere uh, or wasting ship kills anywhere so we need to kill two ships. Uh, hopefully we get invaded um, as we go through <coughs> these three quest lines that we're going to do. So let's take off here. question I'm seeing a lot across my different um, different things or what crew members am I going to be get, grabbing. Uh, so Vasco is obviously going to be one of those options. Vasco is, he provides an extra point into your uh, shields. Uh, sorry, he gives you an extra point that you can be able to put anywhere, but it's, it's very nice. Uh, he also gives you a strength to your shields. So Vasco, very big. Uh, the next one, Sam Co, will automatically hold one point for your engine, so you don't have to put uh, an extra point into your engines, which is really nice. Um, and then we are going to run um, probably Barrett, I think, because Barrett gives us a particle beam uh, or particle beam boost. Uh, and the weapon of choice that we're going to be running is going to be Particle. We want this one. Find it in Andresia. So there's two places that we can go to. Andresia is at one of these two places. We're going to start, I think it's Tau Seti. Uh, you need to go to both of these places. It does, it's not just the one for attraction. If, 
you don't remember, we picked up these skill or these uh, these quests when we went to go talk to Vladimir. Uh, Vladimir said that he's worried about where Andreja is. He's worried that she is in trouble. She is at one of these two facilities. Uh, he sent her out to go grab a um, an artifact. Once we find Andresia and we send her back, we'll stop by the... We'll stop by Constellation and then we will go for the We're gonna take a quick rest. Hopefully I have enough food and drink. sandwich and maple cola we need to pick up all the food that we can we can find go out to the landing bay captain how can i be of service captain farewell we're gonna leave them here So when we're coming up here, if we see people outside, then I think this one is not the one that Andres is at. Not seeing anybody. We're gonna jump up through here. Activate these this landmine. Hop away. Let that go for a second. Come up here. Activate the landmine up here. Those are incendiary landmines, so once they blow up, they burn the ground for a few seconds. So it's best to just kind of leave them alone until they burn out. In here, you can grab any of the books that um, may be worth something. I think we've already turned both of these books in, but it's best to grab them just in case. Let's see here, Red Rover, that's not one. Come up to the top here, there's gonna be always a weapon, ammo. Drum beats are nice, that's actually a really good weapon. Med pack. These are all empty, I think, yeah. Rope. Or fiber. <clears throat> okay. Come down here. Grab the helium. Always a good resource. And you can go to this one. Let's 
so I wanted to thank you guys for your comments and, and I, li I, li I like hearing you guys talk about um, about your thoughts on the game and, and one in particular kind of stood out to me is he's, uh, they said, and I, I, can't, I don't know if it's a he or she, but they said um, that it's good to be able to watch somebody play Starfield in a positive manner. Uh, whereas they're not complaining about the game, they're just having fun playing the game. And I 100% agree with you. Like, and here's the thing: is like I don't, I don't disagree with with a lot of the uh, the upset with the game. Like, the game does feel kind of incomplete in a lot of ways. Um, it does kind of feel like they didn't finish the game all the way. That being said, there are so many planets in this game, like, to expect them to put, like, to, to basically handcraft every single planet, that's asking for a little bit much. That's, that's a little bit more than, than what they're, what they're actually, like, looking to do. Um... Now, I do agree with you. I feel like that it's probably not a good idea to rely on modders to fix that mistake. Like, that's something that maybe you should be worried about, not not letting the mod... Not, 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 not necessarily not letting the monitors, but... Mo or mo uh, modders, but not relying on the modders to do it. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. This is Andresha. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to... <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead, we waste time. We should go... She takes everything as an affront to her, and I'm wondering if that's just because of the fact that she was a that she was a Varun Zealot, like, I wonder if it's, a uh, that guy back over there. Uh, one thing I am a little bit concerned on, I don't think, you can use this computer to activate the robot that's right here and then he will fight with you, it's not super necessary. My question is, I, I don't think this weapon is silenced. Yeah, it is not. So shooting this guy with this weapon will activate everybody else here. I don't think we have anything with the silencer. Oh, well, it is what it is. Oh wow, I am bad. And once again, huh. we are triumphant. You can see it does a lot of damage. Like Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Now there's a bunch of guys over there, but there's gonna also gonna be one over here walking up. Take him out. I think there might be one down that way. I'm not 100% sure. That might be the guy that was walking up to us. We're gonna look over here for these guys. Meet your wow, take him down. So we actually deal a lot of damage with this thing, as you can see. She got that one. A, this thing is a frenzied med theft and exterminator. So we're actually the more things we kill with this, the more likely we are to get med packs. So that's another reason why I was like super excited about picking this up. And this was a random drop, if I'm not mistaken, which is really nice. So the med theft basically says that there is a chance that enemies that we kill are, they have a uh, med pack on them. Uh, 
uh, so it just gives us a higher chance of seeing med packs when we kill an enemy. Grab the sealant. We're finding a bunch of med packs and stuff anyway. We'll grab that to sell it, sure. Why not? This guy here, anti-personnel rip shank. Uh, so as I was saying, like, I, I agree with, with, uh, with everybody's saying, like, obviously the game does kind of feel unfinished, and I think the developers kind of relied on the monitors a little bit too much to complete the game for them. Uh, that being said, it's still a fun game. It's a game that I'm going to enjoy playing. Um, Bethesda, I'm, I've always been a big fan of their works. Um little less so of the Fallout series than I have been on the Elder Scrolls side of things. Um, but that being said, I, it's still a fun game and I'm going to enjoy playing it. And I hope that Bethesda don't, doesn't use Starfield as a... A kind, like, I, I, I very much hope that they don't try it with, like, try the same thing that they did with Starfield. Like, the, sending out an incomplete game and expecting the modders to fix it. Like, I hope they don't do that with Skyrim. Now, I don't know if that was their intention or not, but that's definitely the way that it felt. Two shots. We got that one right over there we gotta be careful of. Yeah, getting an early, like, advanced weapon like this is very, very nice. There was, There is a way that you can force yourself to get an advanced weapon. It's a little involved, uh, but I might do it as, like, a side video or something like that. Uh, show you the trick where you can get a, um, an early legendary advanced weapon and force it uh, with pretty high consistent, consistency. I know other people have posted videos on how to do it. And I figured we were going to have to do it eventually anyway. Um, maybe it's something that I might put out like when we hit New Game Plus or something like that. Um, if you don't know and when you go through new game plus you lose everything you lose all your credits all your um all your ships all your outposts all your weapons everything uh you are given a new armor set and a new ship um but they're not going to be to the same level as necessarily as what you had okay is he over there no he's not over there so there's a bunch of guys right over here. There's this guy right there first. Take him out. We got some. That level 18 guy is actually kind of kind of scary. Yeah, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to him. And he's an elite, so you gotta worry about that too. But we're clearing the room, no problem. Take this guy out so that we don't have to worry about him. Where'd the 18 guy go? Yeah, I think he went around. Yep, he dropped down around there. So we can speed through if we wanted to. We're not going to yet. We're just going to take this nice and slow. We'll come over here, grab this guy's stuff. Best not to leave anything useful behind. And that guy comes out. A 
that's everybody in here. And that also gives us our level 12, which is nice. So we'll definitely take that perk point. Love to see it. That's an expert safe. We can't do that. We'll grab the half sack, deep sword, deep core, and deep seeker power pack. Uh, we're going to come back up through here in a second, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. <clears throat> we're going to go right down here. So Skyrim mechanics, or I should say uh, Bethesda mechanics, uh, when you go to a drop like that, if you are falling at too fast of a rate of speed, you will die. Uh, so what I'm doing is I am hitting the boost pack to uh, to lower the fall, like to lower the, the fall speed so that I don't take any damage when I hit. And then I always try to hit... Ooh, auto-refine. That automatic... Okay, so it automatically uses a med pack if, when I drop below 50 health or 25 health. 25% health. And then it's got bolstering. So it's not a bad armor set. I don't think it's going to be the same... Yeah, it's not the same as a mirrored. But it's not bad. Okay, and then we're gonna go up here. There's some chests and stuff up here that we can grab. As well as some dead bodies. That's everything. Let me double check. I think maybe there might be something around this bend here. Oh. So yeah, I, I'm hitting the hitting it right before I hit the ground just to slow the fall. respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is in that man. Uh, I might say that. It is surprising to find someone else from Constellation who agrees with me. What experience led you to that Have you now? I have also seen a great many things, and we both seem to be... Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir. This is not the first time. Well, it has been. Mom, this means we are... I will finish here. Okay, so that's completed. You can go ahead and pick up the materials here if you like. Um, you got iron, you got calamite, which is very common in all these. Um, yeah, just pick up whatever you want. It's not necessary for us personally. The iron's kind of cool because we're gonna we're we're definitely gonna use it, but I don't necessarily need it right now. All right, we are out of here. We're gonna go to that other star system. Um, I believe it was Bessel, and then we are going to grab the artifact that is that was there. Come up here, drop down through here, grab those, 
And then you exit back through there. ship we're going to access the cargo hold and we're going to go ahead and drop all the resources back over here to Tau Ceti shortly. Let's go. It's not Vessel, it's Piazzi. I was hoping we would run into some type of ship combat, but it's looking like right now we may not do so. So we may end up having to... We may end up having to take a... Uh, So here we go to the abandoned Moybridge Pharmaceutical Lab. This is actually really good. Okay, so this is actually extremely good. Um, so the trick that you can do later to farm legendary items is based off of this particular place. It's abandoned pharmaceutical lab. Uh, the reason why is because this place is actually very easily, like, uh, uh, what's the word? It's very easily farmable to be able, like, it, the, the, where Hello, the legendary Captain. items are in this setup in this kind of location is super easy to exploit. So basically, if you jump over into this building here, you go into the top area first. There's going to be a uh, weapons thing. There's going to be some, some different, like, uh, stuff right over here. Then you go into this building, and there's going to be some weapon things at the very top. You come out through this exit here, go over here to this entrance, go down the stairs, and there's going to be a weapons thing right there that you can grab. These are all just basically top loot that you can grab. Then you go into this building here, go in, you like activate a. Um, a door go into the door and go down the stairs there's going to be another weapons thing there and then at the very end inside here you're going to find a chest that's going to have a high chance of having like a legendary weapon or some 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 sort so you can farm this place to be able to get the weapons that you need uh like uh, and depending on where you farm it is where you're going to get the better um better advanced tier weapons so if you go all the way out here to this bower system, uh, you need a, a ship that can jump over 27, um, 27 light years. Um, so you have to be able to, or uh, sorry, you have to have a ship that's going to be able to jump 27 light years to make it to bower. There is a uh, moon here, bower 3B or bower 2B or something like that, that you can scout and basically land on different places on the moon to find a Moybridge pharmaceutical location like this here. And because Bower is a level 65 uh, 
uh, 65 solar field or whatever you call it, like a star field, um, there is a higher chance of getting uh, advanced weapons from this area. So the other place that you can go to is right here, the Hugans. If, or sorry, these are level 75 areas. Uh, so because they are such strong areas, there's a higher chance of being able to grab um, the advanced weaponry from these areas. Um, this one being, I think, like, what, what did it say? Level level 12, level 14? Uh, it, there, the chances of a legendary weapon actually being here, or, or, or advanced weapon actually being here, is fairly low. Oops. Get that away. Nope, I don't want that. There we go. So, we got the pirate up here. Drop him down. There's going to be lots of things to fight. If I was doing the farming route, uh, I would basically be skipping the fight with all these guys because they're going to be like level 75 guys and like lots of guys to fight and that would actually just destroy you. So, these guys are lower level. I should be able to fight these guys fairly easily. Especially now that we've got our ballistics up to... Level three. Had enough? Oh. Gotta watch out behind me because there's people inside that can come in and come out at us. Grab him. There's also people over there. I think some of the people from outside came, or from inside came outside. Maybe not. Looks like they're all three still inside. Okay, we're going to quick save here because this actually can be a little there challenging. Level 2 pirate, not too bad. But this level 16 guy. As you can see, they're actually cutting through my health bar pretty quickly here. Oh, blew up behind me. I'm glad I quick saved. I didn't realize that there was stuff to blow up behind me. So yeah, kind of got to be careful. Oh, he's pushing up real close. I can just see if we can draw him in a little bit closer. You gotta be careful, he's legendary, so he's gonna hurt. He's gonna be able to sponge a lot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it this way. Level 2 guy we can drop with a single hit if we hit him with a, there you are. a bridge. Yeah. Ah. He's out. I'm gonna hit the level 10 guy now. He's down. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I know we picked up some stuff. We'll 
go with the Caribou light can. No mercy! <laughs> hits our damage reduction. We eventually got it, but that took a little bit. Ah, Tales of Space of Time. Definitely, we're taking that. That's a book we can sell. But My Life Chunk by Chunk is not one that we can sell. Where are, they, where are they shooting? Are they shooting me from? Yeah, they're shooting me from outside. We'll grab the toast. That's food. That's funny that you can eat butter and be fed for 30 minutes. Coffee bag, these are just like ingredients that you can use as a component for crafting. It's like food crafting, I think. Alright, uh, yeah. Grab the fiber. And we'll go this way. So this is that area that I was telling you about, um, where you can find and farm things. So if you come through this way first, we'll, we always try to go and, and try to start our run through here. That one's locked, expert, we can't get into it. But there's a weapons crate, obviously, here. Next weapons crate is right through here. This one has a chance of being an advanced weapon in the level 75 area. <laughs> then you come through, you you would have guys up here, but you would just rush through and, and try not to fight them. Come down in here. This one here has a chance of being a legendary advanced weapon. Then you can come down here. Grab these. As you can see, chance to get legendary weapons or gear from there. And then you come out this door here. Now we're gonna fight our way through, uh, but there is always like three bad guys over here. Uh, you can usually just run past them. You don't have to fight them. Three or four. I can't remember if it's three or four. 
Because I know there's always like one or two up there. Yeah, there's two, so it's four. We're gonna go this way. We're actually gonna go around and come in the back way. Let's take care of this bleeding. How are we looking? We got 19 med packs. We're not doing too bad. What? They were right there! So once you do that, you clear through here, and you can just run through here too. Like, you can usually get through before they start shooting at you, uh, and be able to get through all of this. You come down here, there is another weapon location here. And then you go in here. Now there is always two guys in here. There's one right up at the front, and then one kind of midway back there. Take both of them out. If I'm in the level 65 or 75 area, I will usually wait to take them out until after I've picked up whatever weapon I've got um, back in the chest back this way. Uh, one, because A, or, or I should say A, because they're level 75, they're pretty strong. Uh, but another reason is because by that point, I would like to test the weapon that I've got, and if I am level 9, able to kill these guys with that we with that advanced weapon, when they're level 75, then I know I picked up a good weapon type. So, it's just kind of up to you how you want to handle that. But you can search around for a Moybridge ph Pharmaceutical on that planet or on that uh, moon, and be able to get yourself super overpowered, super easily. And be able to deal with at least the early game stuff like that or nothing. We're gonna come in here. This is what we came to get. We're gonna grab it. Now there are some more extra items that you can pick up here. You've got the minor hard hat. You've got the grab applause helmet. Um, you can pick those up if you want something else to sell. I didn't know that there was food and ammo there. That's kind of cool. When I'm going through here, I'm usually just rushing through, I'm trying to get as quick through as quickly as possible, and then. If I didn't find anything good enough to warrant keeping, uh, then I just reset and do it all again. 
And that's the farming aspect of it. I should probably say that. Uh, so when you do this, when you find the Moybridge Pharmaceutical over on Boar 3B, um, about, it, it's usually, to be safe, I would say about 500 uh, kilometers away, but I mean, it, you can go up to 400 kilometers or 300 kilometers away, uh, and you are able to uh, quick save as soon as you get out of your ship, as long as your ship is far enough away, uh, and then be able to sprint straight for this area. And then what that does is, is that it, you don't lock in the items that that area has for you until you reach like 300 kilometers away from it. Uh, so as long as you are able to remain... Let's see if there's any, any hostil hostility going on over here. That's just a ship. That's not hostile. That's not hostile activity. Here's hostile activity. Let's go check it out. Uh, so the reason why that's important is because if you get too close to the area before, before you quick save, when you quick save, none of the items are going to change. Crimson Fleet Phantom. Crimson Fleet Taunt. That means this one's going to be Crimson Fleet Okay, I'm 
come out. Now if we can get behind the Phantom without the Phantom turning on us. double-edged but it's it's really nice it's it provides a lot for us actually we're gonna go to Alpha Centauri we're gonna go straight to the lodge and then we're gonna go sell off after we're done Thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? <laughs> no, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. It's like, uh, so, oh, she's I, not then, used to being you, cared but for. Thank you, was not necessary. We succeeded. And I think that's a cultural thing, because in the Varun, like, in the Varun, we don't know much about their culture or stuff like that, but in Looking the Varun too. stuff... I'm jealous. Um, I tried. They're all they kind of anywhere, emotionless. Like emotionless. Embedded. I wasn't aware we were competing, but game on. Oh no. Don't you two start. We're supposed to be working together. Not What's wrong with a little rivalry here and there? I think it pushes us to be at Or causes nothing but arguments. Arguments which then breed distrust. Noel is right, Matteo. Well, I suppose there was that one time, and then the other. I'm the villain in this story. I can't believe I'm... You're spending too much time with Walter Mateo. He's turning our adorable teddy bear into a grizzly. You know what? I just realized I completely... I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good, but I do agree that we accomplished something. I have no objections. Noel, All right, pulling so some I didn't interesting want data to from those new artifacts. To be the Tell the room yes, to meet but... me back on board the station. Roger you will be lost. On his way. Okay. Is something amiss? So she's got stealth. She has particle beams, uh, but it's not particle beam weapons. It's not particle weapon systems. She has energy weapon systems, and then she has that. So it. she's not great for uh, the shipping kind of thing that we're looking for, but it's still not bad. <laughs> My usual recommendation is that you go with um, Bosco, Samco, and then Barrett on your ship. 
Uh, and then Sarah, because she's got extra, she's got an extra perk that allows her to not take up a crew slot. Uh, so she can be on your ship as well. And then um, you can have like Andresia as your companion or Barrett as your companion or whatever, however you want to do it. But if you put, I don't think we have Sarah on ours right now. Let's look at our crew real fast. Yeah, so Sarah's not assigned. Let's go ahead and assign her to the Razor Leaf. Uh, but she doesn't, She because she has the leadership skill level two, um, she does not necessarily count towards the number of people that you have on your ship. See, as you can see, we still are showing that we have one of four, even though we have both Vosco, Vosco and Sarah. Uh, that being said, you need a skill point that is found in the social tree, which is ship command. Um, so they say a ship is only as good as its crew, uh, but that is is contingent upon that crew having the right captain to lead them. So you can have, up, or the rank one, you can have up to four cr active crew members. Rank two, you can have up to five, six, and eight. However, you have to perk heavy into the social tree to be able to get this. Uh, you're not able to get to here until after you've spent 12 points in the social tree, which can be pretty daunting for most builds. Oh, I didn't heal any. Sarah is the best possible person. had it set to limited locations, I figured Constellation would have counted as one of those locations, but I guess not. Looks like it has to be on one of our settlements or on our ship. Okay, so next things or next up is we need to go save Barrett. We've got a little under a half hour to do it. We should be able to knock this out. If I go a little bit over, no big deal. Uh, first things first, we need to heal up. Oh, I also was supposed to sell off. Yeah, we're uh, we're a little a little heavy.
But we're doing good now. We're back up to 9,400 or 94,000. That's pretty close. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy back the constellation helmet. You don't have to, but I like keeping the constellation here. Need some work done? Okay. So that was a big sell-off that we gained about what 20,000 or 30,000 credits off of that, off of that total run, which is nice for us. I'm listening. Uh, we can go ahead and put the resources in here. And there we go. Now let's go save us a Barrett. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the Barrett quest. Uh, oh, we could have picked up the, the better engine. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, before we go to rescue Barrett, let's go pick up the better engine as well as the couple things that we're gonna, a couple more changes that we're gonna make. Uh, so the first place that we're gonna go to is Neon. I believe it's Neon. Let me double check. Yeah, Tayo Industries. That's under Ryujin. That's folly. This way. Oh. Hello, sir. You're wanted James, dead or alive. Better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage of oh, no problems in Neon. Leave me alone, please. Get out of my face. Are you kidding? Maybe my kids are free. Not after everything. How are you gonna take me to? Oops, I did not mean to hit her. Yep, that's that was unfortunate. Stop now! I did not mean to hit her with that. security, get back here! Yep, I deserve it. Stop running! You know what's good for you. I'm not Leo running. security, stop immediately! Stop! Wait. I don't have any contraband, so that's You're fine. coming with us. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I didn't mean to to, to hit her. Trying to so collect a bounty, me, she ran in the way. Wasn't my fault. That's okay. It was still a net gain. We got 750. Or no, yeah, we got we collected 750 from his bounty. Over here. So. All right, Ryujin. This is where we want to go. We want to go. I think it's up to Tayo Astroneering. Come over. You can, I believe, use one of these. Nope, that's not it. Maybe not. Welcome to the Tayo. Every Tayo innovation gets copied by the other star yards. So we'll talk to her. I've been dreaming of this. Just enjoy the moment. You've made the best decision of your life. So I can take it for a spin now. It'll be at the spaceport before you get there, fully topped up with Healing 3, so yay! That's no ship's better in the settled systems. People spend their whole... And I get to make that. 
Okay, whatever Take you say. Take a look at our catalog. Are you ready to be like to be able to modify Yay, my ships? Let's get all right, so the reason why we came here specifically is so that we can we can drop these Damus landing gears. They're pretty heavy and they're not super necessary. Uh, so we drop both of those and then these right here, we can now double this up, grab this, and then we can form this over into this side. So still has the same lander thrust as a hull of three. Uh, and also opens up this top one for us, which the other one did not. So, take that, take that, and take this over here. Oop, too far over. There we go, this one right here. And boom. Now, the other reason why we did, or the reason why we needed to open these up is because, if you look, we only have 420 cargo. That's not much. So, let's go over here. First of all, let's check the engine. Let's see if they have the better, not the better engine, the uh, better reactor. So no, they do not. That's fine. Uh, let's look at cargo. We want... That adds 210. That adds 44 mass. We're still at four. We're still at 100 mo mobility. Oh, that still doesn't fit. We do this. We're still at 100 mobility. Not sacrificing really anything. Oh, because I didn't get a second one. Yeah, now we're losing mobility. I don't think we want to do that. That's fine. We'll go like this. That's even more mass. That's even more mass. That's 48 mass. Jesus. Okay, well. Now we've gone into this. That opens up here. We can put like a weapon port or something right there. It also allows us to put like a, a new weapon on this instead of that. So this is all fine. This is how we'll, we'll hold for now. I can help you with and here's your new cap okay no okay now we should be able to get better that's 52 mass Reactors, reactors, there we are. So here we are, the Class A 20 power generation reactor. That's the one that we wanted to upgrade to. So we'll take that off, put this on. So 
so that's a better reactor for us. I was hoping we'd be able to get a better cargo. That's 52 mass. And we still can't put that there. That's crazy. It's okay. Now all we gotta really do is upgrade the weapons on this thing. And to do that we need to do the um the Vanguard the first Vanguard quest. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my We're not gonna do that quite yet. Um we'll probably do that first thing in the next video. So we're gonna go ahead and go rescue ourselves a ferret. Good day, Captain. So 20 power generation may not seem like a big deal until you realize that, okay, so Bosco gives us another plus one, so we're at 21 Dust power off. generation. Samco will put a point in for our engine, so essentially give us a 22 power generation without needing to have, uh, without actually having 22, because you're just one point into the engines already, so we don't need to put an extra point Rich there. Is firing. Uh, so what that comes down to is it means that we, once we get rid of it and upgrade our weapons here, we will have the ability to power just about everything uh, without needing to go crazy. Now, you won't be able to full power everything, but the weapons that we're going to choose, you don't need to have them full, fully powered. So it's all going to work out pretty well. Uh, settings, not settings. I wanted to go to missions. Back to Vectera. Uh, do we have time to finish this? Probably not. We're down to, okay, so here's what we'll do. We will travel to Vectera, but we will not continue on from there uh, until the next video so I'm gonna try to have the next video for you later today um, I'm gonna try to record because we're we're gonna kind of speed up a little bit uh, we're gonna speed things up a little bit so that we're ready for shattered space uh, so we're going to stop right here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll check you out in the next video. Put that there. All right, I'll see you in the next one.